Suzanne, a horticulturist here at Rogers Gardens, and today we're going to be discussing how to check if you're watering deep enough during these possible water restriction times that you may or may not be having in your area. If you've followed our videos on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, you know that our motto here is water deeply less often. It is so important. If you're watering with your sprinklers maybe just a few minutes every day, you're only going to be soaking down a little bit. And then this combined with a couple of really warm days, it can dry out really quickly. So each day you're basically just supplementing what you had watered the day before. So when you're watering deeply, the plants are gonna be stronger, they're gonna be healthier, and you can actually water far less often. So imagine now, if you will, that you're learning the secret to watering deeply. You're gonna be cycling through a little bit longer or letting your drip system soak in a little bit longer, down to six, eight, even 12 inches, and voila. Your plants are stronger, they're healthier, and they're able to fight off super hot, windy days, super hot, sunny days. Anything you can throw at them, your plants will be able to handle because they're always watered super deeply. Their roots are going far, far, far down instead of staying up here at the surface where the sun can bake them really quickly. So if you're using mulch on top of this amazing magic trick for watering, you're gonna be able to water even less, you're going to be saving even more water, and your plants will be even stronger because the mulch acts in a way that keeps it from evaporating, of course, but it also keeps their roots cooler. So your plants will be a lot happier, and this is just a recipe for success. So you may be asking yourself, how do I check if I'm watering deep enough? And there is just a super simple way. You can do it with three different tools if you like. Um, you can use a uh, soil probe, and a lot of people have them now from our last drought when water companies were giving them out. You can use a really long screwdriver, or you can get a very inexpensive piece of rebar from a local hardware store, bend it if you want to get fancy, and uh, that will be your tool for checking. So if your tool goes down anywhere from 8 to 12 inches, congratulations. You are watering perfectly. You can do this too maybe three times a week in the hottest of weather, but if it doesn't go down that far, I'm gonna tell you some ways so that you can help improve your watering. Step one, water your garden as you normally do. Step two, wait an hour or two. Step three, plunge your tool into the soil to see how far down it goes. Step four, remove that tool and see just how far down it went. If you're watering with sprinklers, you need to go to your controller and set it to manual. If you don't know how to do this, you can just go online, look up your controller and get those instructions. They're actually a lot easier to use than it might look like. But turn it on, run your sprinklers until the water starts running off. Shut it off, then wait a couple minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and turn it back on again. You're gonna be cycling through this until your, your soil is saturated down six to eight inches. If you're using a drip system, which are those little tubes that go from place to place, just go out there, turn on your system, and check to make sure that everything is running well. Sometimes the little tubes pop off, sometimes they get clogged with minerals and things like that, so you may need to replace them. Um, but just give a thorough looking around, making sure that everything is working well. Then turn it on and see how long it takes for that water to soak down far enough to know that you're watering deeply enough. And lastly, if you are hand watering your garden or maybe just using a soaker hose or a sprayer or something, this is just, you're going to follow the other directions. You're just going to do it yourself. So um, usually one pass with a hose is not enough. We always like to say at least three passes, but whatever it takes to get that water down as deep as possible, that's what you're going to need to do. And with trees, you can use a soaker hose, you can leave it on for a long time. Make sure that those trees' roots get watered so deeply so that they can withstand the super hot weather. After you've worked on your irrigation, it's time to test again. So here we go. It's really, really well watered, down to about almost 12 inches. We've got mulch on top of this soil. Everything is perfect. So that's it. 
Very simple, very easy, water deeply, less often. Make sure that you're following this year round. Go to our website, rogersgardens.com. You can also check us out on YouTube, subscribe, and see all of the, the wealth of information that we have there for gardeners and for home decorators. We also have our Facebook, we have Instagram, and we have Pinterest. We are here for you to help you out.